play as they sway through another Saturday afternoon in Annapolis. The Naval Academy's Drum and Bugle Corps visits tailgaters before the homecoming game. It's awesome. <laughs> it's absolutely awesome. Not far from the harbor, these future sailors created a maritime tradition by bringing their talents to alumni, like former Secretary of the Navy, John Dalton. Unless somebody in our family has the poor judgment to marry during the football season, or they have the bad judgment to buy, to die during football season. Otherwise, we'll be we'll be at all the games. At home and on the road, the 1964 graduate always stops by to see his classmates. Just across the lot, 53 friends with no academy graduates find the Navy football games are a great place to let their hair down. Don't tell them this, but they are so much fun to be around. And refreshing to see how generations mix together. They did this 50 years ago, and now it's our turn to learn from them. And in 50 years, we'll come around and get the class of 2071, and we'll get to teach, mentor, and support them. Minutes before kickoff, a march that keeps marching through your mind, the Naval Academy's midshipmen in perfect formation are announced onto the field, and then the national anthem. As if your eyes haven't seen enough, an ear-piercing flyover and then a parachute jumper brings in the American flag. Susan Paddock saw it all from the Anchors Club. I haven't been to my seat yet, uh, but this is awesome because it's a nice spot to chat and connect. Overlooking the field, the entertainment continues. So the area is not new, but it did take a step up. It was a pregame only tailgate last year, and this year we've expanded it for the whole game. Um, we've kind of made it a little fancier with some games, a cash bar throughout the whole game. Barbecue before the game, and there's so much for the kids. Connect four cornhole tickets are $85 or you can buy a $65 access pass if you already have a seat in the stadium. Oh, and there's a football game. Navy is dominating Tulane before the half. 21 points in the first quarter, but Tulane turned it around. Just hanging out with our friends and family and I want, we just all get together and have a good time. Navy fans enjoyed a last second game winning field goal with a final score of 41 to 38. And just like that, the last home game is on November 23rd against SMU. Being a Navy fan is for the fleet of heart. For Chesapeake Bay Magazine's Bay Bulletin, I'm Cheryl Costello.